And welcome back to Good Day Sacramento. We are here in Newcastle at the Newcastle Lavender Farms. Now, let me tell you, if you could smell what I'm smelling, it is incredible, fantastic way to start the morning. So we're here with Kathy and her daughter, Rebecca, who are the owners of the Lavender Farms. This is your property that you've opened to the public, and you have a vintage market going on today. Last day of it, right? So tell us a little bit about it. Well, the vintage market is our second annual year to do this, and we just decided let's tie in something fabulous, yep. fun with lavender. This is June is Lavender Month here mm -hmm. in Sacramento, so um, we have vendors from all over, yep. um, mostly in the Auburn area, northern mm -hmm. area, and they're great vendors. And Rebecca and I just thought, let's just put this together. Let's and, do it, yeah. And then some fabulous, you know, food vendors, yes, and drinks and. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It happened. And here it is. And here it is. I was going to say, and I love it because that's your lavender farm right over there. So um, we were just talking, and you said you've been growing lavender now since 2016. So, um, Rebecca, why did you want to open up the farm to the public? Well, um, we wanted to uh, have some crop on our property that was beautiful mm -hmm. and deer resistant and would grow well. And we took a trip up to Squim, Washington, which mm -hmm. is the lavender capital of the United States, and visited their farms up there and realized that we could do it here. Mm -hmm. And so when we started growing and it was beautiful and we had so much it was just a natural progression to yeah. um, open it up to the public so they could come and enjoy it it just makes people happy it does it, yeah it's beautiful we have photographers come and book evening yeah. sessions with oh, us for that. the golden light in the lavender field the golden hour that. so it's super popular we've grown um, a lot in the last three years I love that so much and again it's five dollar entry fee now what I love is is that you can use lavender for anything so this is your display over here so we have lavender scented oils there's teas there's um, what are, the, are those chocolate bars right there so <laughs> so oh I'm sorry yeah don't eat those <laughs> you can but um, you've got lavender to put in your pillows um, pillowcases I mean it is fantastic so now where are you guys located and what are the hours today uh, we're located at 2450 Paddock Lane in Newcastle um, the hours today are from 8 to 2 we're also open this is our last day for the vintage yep. market um, but July 1st 2nd and 3rd we are also open for you pick which is fun that's ten dollars admission and Great. that gets them uh, free bundle that they get to pick. Fantastic. So again, you guys are at uh, NewcastleLavender.com. Follow them on Facebook and Instagram. And again, come pick up some lavender. I mean, they were just talking about this little um, sachet here. Put it under your pillow, right? It'll help you sleep. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Question yes. from yeah. the floor. Yeah. yeah. Squeeze it. Great. <laughs> Question from the floor. We'll send it on back to you guys instead. Hello? Yes. Yes, T. Yes, right over here. Um, yes. Uh, do they sell any uh, edible lavender that you can cook with? Do you sell edible lavender that you can cook with? So our lavender is a grosso variety, which mm -hmm. is a high oil content, high camphor content. It's a very strong lavender. We grow it for the essential oil. You can use it in culinary uses. It's just super strong and concentrated. Got it. So you can start with a small amount and taste it from there. Got it. Fantastic. I love that. Okay. Nice. There you go. T, I think I, I, I think I smell a project for you, mm -hmm. literally. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, KK.